All right, artists, today we are gonna finish up this project from last year. So, first thing you're gonna do is pick a color for your background, and you're going to have to write your name and teacher code on the back, okay? So name, teacher code, circle it on the back, then flip it over and get ready to glue. When you get your cactus back, you're going to know that it's taped together, so just be careful with that. Um, the best way to do this, I suppose, is with a glue stick, but if you don't have a glue stick, we will get you some glue. Now, the thing about glue sticks is that you gotta go quick. So, make sure that you're not going too slow because the glue is starting to dry as soon as, oops, you put it down. The other thing is we wanna be careful just go around the edges. Those are the most important things we need glued down. Now, when you flip it and stick it, we wanna aim for the center, not off to the side, not hanging off the paper. Aim for the center. Push it down and then flip it and massage on the back. Okay, we want to make sure, this is a really important part. We wanna make sure our project is glued down. When you flip it over, if there's any part of your project that's waving at you, hello, then that means you didn't put enough glue there. So just try to get a little bit of glue in that one spot and press it down. Then you get to decorate the background. I suggest making a border. Can you say that word border? A border is when you decorate just around the edges of your paper. I suggest making a border, but you could really decorate it however you want. So check out how I make my border. And you would go all the way around, all the way around. I'll show you a picture of what it looks like later. Now, what if you've never done this project before or what if you didn't start it last year? You're going to get a paper that looks like this so you can be all caught up with everyone else. And now you get to take today to decorate inside of this really cool pot. So what I had the students do last year is make different patterns inside each one of these horizontal rectangle shapes. You could do circles. You could do hearts. And then once you fill all three of these with different patterns, you get to add color to it. So I would use my markers or crayons or colored pencils and I can add in color. Then when I'm all done adding color inside of the pot, I would also decorate a background. Okay, so when my pot looks nice and colorful just like this, I can take my black marker and I can also decorate a border. Good luck, artists.